Hi, and thanks for watching the End Time Revival broadcast with Pastor Harold Smith. I'm your announcer, Jason Connors. The broadcast is recorded every Sunday morning at the Mark's First United Pentecostal Church, located on Academy Drive in Mark's, Mississippi. You can join the church for services every Sunday and Wednesday, or you can view past services at www.freegospelradio.com. This broadcast is made possible by the generosity of its viewers. You can help keep the broadcast going by sending your donation to Pastor Harold Smith, P.O. Box 373, Marks, Mississippi, 38646. Help us spread the word by mailing in your donation. And now, the End Time Revival broadcast with Pastor Harold Smith. It's a privilege again to come to the house of God and to share the word of God with you today. Uh, I especially wanted to get this sermon out today because God gave this to me about 4.30, 4.45 yesterday morning. And... Uh, so I, I want to share this with you today, and I pray that it will be a blessing. I pray that God will touch your heart, because we're living in a time when we need, we need to place values upon the Word of God. Amen. We need to place values on the Word of God. And... Uh, we are definitely living in the end time. Uh, a man, uh, we got a prayer request. A man over in Iran, I believe it was, uh, they asked him, uh, did he believe in Muhammad? And he said no, and they was due to hang him today. And they was asking everybody to pray. Uh, you know, America has fallen asleep spiritually but uh, they better wake up I want to say that today I want to declare that to you and I want to talk to you for just a few minutes today on the value of tears uh, God puts a great value upon tears and uh, David said so aptly in the 56th Psalm, he said, O oh Lord, my God, put my, put my tears into thy bottle. So it would seem that God has our tears bottled up. Thank God. They're not wasted. They're not wasted. God, God values our tears that we shed over loved ones, over friends, over sick ones, over the lost. Uh, God values those tears. Hallelujah. David said one time in the 30th Psalm, he said, His anger endureth but a moment his favor is life weeping may endure for a night you may cry in the night but he said joy is coming in the morning hallelujah hallelujah to God joy is coming in the morning Isaiah said in the 25th chapter he will swallow up death in victory and the Lord God shall wipe away tears from off all faces thank God isn't that wonderful uh, the song said when Jesus wipes the tears from our eyes we'll forget why we even cried thank God we cried over wayward loved ones we cry over this world today we cry over uh friends and loved ones that 
are sick, that the doctor has said there's no hope, there's no hope for them, and, and yet we cry, and yet God in His infinite love, He values those tears. He values those tears. I was reading the other day in the book of 2 Samuel, the 21st chapter. Now, this is a story way back in Joshua's day. Uh, Joshua and the princes of Israel made an agreement with the Gibeonites that they would be at peace with them, that they would not go to war with them. And the princes of Israel gave their seal, they gave their bond, their word. But when Saul became king, and you know that Saul was about backslid, and uh, we never we never hear of him praying and seeking God. But Saul killed some of the Gibeonites. And after Saul's death, when David began to reign in Israel, the Bible said there came a famine in the land for about three years. And David, David sought God about this famine. And God answered him. And he said, it's because of the bloody house of Saul when he killed the Gibeonites and so David called the Gibeonites to him and said what may we do to appease you that we can get rid of this famine and they said it was Saul's house that done these things to us and we want seven of his sons to hang them and so David turned over seven of Saul's sons. And two of these sons belonged to one of Saul's concubines by the name of Rizpah. And she was the daughter of Ai. And uh, they took and hung her boys. But this woman had such a love for those sons uh, uh, until she went out where they were and she put a cloth on a rock and she stayed there weeping day and night and kept watch of the fowls by day and the beasts by night. Amen. Until God recognized her tears. And the Bible said that it came to the attention of of David and after uh, about two and a half months I think it was that that woman was out there crying and lamenting hallelujah to God oh would to God that we could get people to cry over this sin sick world today to cry over the condition that it's gone into oh God help us today to recognize that God values our tears. Hallelujah. I like, I like what John said in Revelation 21. He said, God shall wipe away all tears from their eyes. And there shall be no more death, neither sorrow, nor crying. Neither shall there be any more pain, for the former things are passed away. Hallelujah to God. I'm here to tell you today, to declare to you that God puts a value upon our tears. Hallelujah. In the book of Isaiah, the 38th chapter, you know the story how that Isaiah went to Hezekiah, and said, Hezekiah, set your house in order. Uh, thus saith God, you're going to die and not live. And as Isaiah walked out, uh, 
Hezekiah turned his face to the wall and he began to weep before God and talk to God and tell God uh, what he had done for his kingdom. And before Isaiah got to the outer court, uh, God spoke to him, uh, hallelujah, and he said, uh, uh, go back and tell Hezekiah, amen, that I've heard his prayer and I have saw his tears. Uh, thank God. God, God values those tears uh, and he said tell him that I have added 15 years to his life hallelujah 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 you know some people cry but their crying is in vain in the book of Hebrews Paul tells us about Esau said you know how that afterward when he would have inherited the blessing he was rejected and he found no place for repentance though he sought it carefully with tears thank God for the tears that God values today oh I tell you I got to study in this hallelujah Isaiah said the, oh I feel the Holy Ghost so strong here today I feel like uh, this message that God wants to comfort somebody today that God wants to speak to somebody out there today and that's going through some trials uh, and you don't understand them uh, amen we don't have to understand it all he just wants us to put our trust in him uh, and he said he'll never leave you he'll never forsake you but he'll go with you all the way Thank God. Businessman here in town come up to me and spoke to me on the street and said, I want you to pray for me, Brother Smith. I've got cancer. And I, I just took him by the hand right out there on the street. And I began to pray for him. Oh, God is looking. You know, and, and the wonderful thing about it, amen, Jesus was no stranger to tears. He was God manifest in the flesh. Thank God there never was a trinity. That word is not even in the Bible. The Bible said, amen, in the beginning, in John, said in the beginning was the Word. The Word was with God, and the Word was God, and the Word was made flesh, or God was made flesh and dwelt among us. 